Hello, people. I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Achara the Kirk. Hi, guys. We're looking at Jim Boy's Comedy Karaku. Karaku, the YouTube channel, produced this video. Thank you, Karaku, for allowing us to react to this. Very much appreciate it. Uh, we are going to proceed forward here. If you guys have yet to subscribe to Karaku and you enjoy the video we're about to watch, make sure you head down to the link in the description below. Just scroll down to see it. And uh, you click on that, and then uh, then you upload the original video and subscribe to them. But before you do that, subscribe here. Bell icon. Ding. All notifications. All notifications. All right, here we go. Dumb. Six pack on That's definitely Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's dreaming. Also true. This frame, oh, wow. this frame rate makes it feel like it's being shot in a in fast, it's like it's playing in fast mode. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so true! That gym is nice and empty. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I too I Oh no, you can't do it. <laughs> That's why they have the leg things for your knees. Yeah. You're, you're supposed to be facing the other way. <laughs> He's just sleeping. Uh, no, no, no. Push, 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 push. Come on. Come on, come on. How much weight is that? Dude. Push. Repeat, repeat. 
Why is he barefoot? Let me. That one is a potty water. Ponnum bedi ke na. Ponnum kuda poila. Thangla allah gula. Poila. Allah ko. Allah ko. Pidiya ta. I guess it's just normal to be barefoot at a gym there. Ding dekha bhai la kari ondo. Ab beetro la mixing grind kora kerti kala ne taam mikkal le dhena na area ko taare kya. Bodi ka set teri na ne bola. ഞാൻ <laughs> <laughs> മോതിരൊക്കെ മാറ്റി മേടിക്കേണ്ടി വരുമല്ലേ മേടിക്കേണ്ടി വരുമ്പോ കൊപ്പോ കൊറേ സംശയങ്ങളൊക്കെ വേഗം നമുക്കേ വീട്ടിൽ പോയിട്ട് പൊറോട്ടയും പ്രോട്ടീൻ പൗഡറും കൂട്ടി കഴിക്കാനുള്ളത് ഈ നേരെ ചോ വർക്ക് ഔട്ട് ചെയ്തേ വീട്ടിൽ പോയി പ്രോട്ടീൻ പൗഡർ ഒക്കെ അടിച്ച് കയറ്റി ആവശ്യമില്ലാത്ത പണി പഠിച്ചു കൂട്ടും ആവശ്യമില്ലാത്ത എന്താ പറയുക ഞങ്ങൾ ഇതൊക്കെ നെറ്റ് നോക്കി കറക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് പഠിച്ചു വെച്ചേക്ക് ഇന്റർനെറ്റ് നോക്കി കേട്ടോ ഇന്റർനെറ്റ് നോക്കലേ അവന്മാരെ ക്യാൻസർ ആണെന്ന് പറയും നിങ്ങളിപ്പോ പറഞ്ഞു വരുന്നത് എന്താ ഇതൊന്നും നോക്കി പഠിക്കണ്ട ഇതിനൊക്കെ പറയാം ആപ്പ് ഉണ്ടെന്നായിരിക്കും അല്ലേ ഉണ്ട് ആയിരം <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard? Oh, the personality is funny. Kada buri hai. Kina ndi kaanikinde. Adu ulla. Ullam ingena aanu edukunnathu. Daara odipichunnu. Ullam kade. Adakke enikku arey njan parnadu nalla ore full pungi edukanam nanu njan parnadu. ഉപദേശിക്കാന്ന് വിചാരിക്കരുത് ഈ സിനിമയുടെ ഒന്നും പറയുന്ന ജീവിതം തലയ്ക്കാതെ വല്ല സ്ഥിരം ജോലി എല്ലാം ചെയ്ത് ജീവിച്ചു ഇതൊക്കെ ഇഞ്ചക്ഷൻ കുത്തിണ്ടാക്കിയതാണ് മുഴുവൻ ഇഞ്ചക്ഷൻ കുത്തിണ്ടാക്കിയതാണ് ഡെയിലി മൂന്ന് നേരം ഇഞ്ചക്ഷൻ എടുക്കും ശരിക്കും ഇഞ്ചക്ഷൻ മാത്രം മതി ഇഞ്ചക്ഷൻ നാട്ടുകാരെ പറ്റി ഞാൻ നേരെ വർക്ക് ഔട്ട് ചെയ്യണം അഭിനയിക്കുക ചെയ്തോട്ടെ ഇതുകൊണ്ട് <laughs> 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 Wow, he did it. That's hard. He's going to pull something. Yeah. Why are you doing this? 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 ഒളിച്ചിന്ന് വർക്കൗട്ട് ചെയ്യാം പോയി ചോദിക്കാം അതെ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞാലേ 
ഇതേപോലെ വന്ന് കട്ട് അടിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ശരി എത്ര കിട്ടൂല പോയി ഫീസ് അടിച്ചിട്ട് പോ അടുത്ത ആഴ്ച അടച്ച മതി അച്ഛനെ അടുത്ത ആഴ്ച ചേട്ടന <laughs> 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 ചെന്നാടിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് <laughs> 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 ബ്രോ അതില്ലേ മറ്റാളെ പ്രോട്ടീൻ പൗഡർ പക്കറ്റ് മാറിട്ട് കുമ്മായത്തിന്റെ പക്കറ്റ് ഉണ്ടാവും What is my line? It's like a, a cleaning thing. It's it's I imagine it's probably on a par with like caustic soda. It's pretty bad. I'm going to protein powder and beauty kit. I'm going to protein powder and waste on your family. I'm going to do it. Protein powder waste. Just to make it look like I'm going to do it. നമ്മളെ കൊണ്ട് പറ്റും നമ്മളെ കൊണ്ടേ പറ്റും <laughs> That's true though. If you became a laborer, you just work out and it'd be your job. This is pretty funny. I picked this one cuz I thought that you'd be able to relate to it as a gym head. Yeah, there was certainly some interesting things in there. I mean, you you do get those people that just talk to you at the gym. You're like, "Why are you doing this to me? It's the worst." There was this one instance I was I went to the gym at like some god awful hour like 4:30 in the morning i was like i was just trying to beat the the rush of people going into the gym i went at 4:30 a.m. i'm doing my pull-ups i've got my music in my headphones and this old dude who obviously has not had the company of anybody in about 10 years just like what are you doing i'm like what the fuck do you think i'm doing <laughs> but i didn't say that it's in my head i'm going i'm just you know i'm doing pull-ups and he goes oh and he starts yapping at me and i'm like mm -hmm, and i'm trying to just nod my way out of the conversation but he keeps just pulling me back wow. in and I'm like oh my god this guy just won't leave me alone 4:30 in the morning it's like you just can't escape weirdos they're just everywhere well i've definitely had that situation like the girls did where some rando just starts talking to you remember we were at the gym together and we were working out i was doing some bicep curls or something and this guy this massive guy like massive in terms of height okay yeah. like he was really tall and imposing And I'm not a short person, but he's definitely had a lot of height on me, but he wasn't like super stacked or anything. And he comes up to me and he's like, "Your form is wrong. You should be lifting your your weights like this." And I was kind of like, "Dude, why are you talking to me and you're being kind of aggressive and I'm feeling really uncomfortable?" Right. And then I told you and then you went and had words with him because I'm not very good at confrontation. I wish I would have just been like, "Yo, 
Did I ask for your advice? No. Yeah, that, that was a pretty scary day. It was, yeah. <laughs> He was a big guy. He was quite tall. Uh, he's much taller than me. I was ready to like get punched <laughs> when I walked up to him and I was like, yo, you can't talk to her that way, dude. Like this, she, you made her uncomfortable. Oh no, I was just trying to help. No, but no. I get that, but you made her uncomfortable. He's like, oh, sorry. I was shocked he apologized to me to be perfectly honest because that dude was a dickhead. But yeah. yeah, he apologized to me real quick. So uh, he wasn't too much of a dickhead, I guess. But yeah, you get those randos who just walk up and talk to you. And the truth of the matter is though, I'm a very curious person, especially when I'm at the gym and I see someone doing an exercise I'm unfamiliar with. I'll go up and I'll start asking questions, but I'm doing it in such a way that actually feels like it's a productive conversation. You know, I'm trying to learn and they can see that I'm trying to learn. But, but you, like gym etiquette 101, you never interrupt someone when they're in the middle of a set. Exactly. That's just rude. I mean, the only time I've ever done that is when I thought I saw someone was gonna injure themselves. I saw someone using the pull up, the pull down bar, I should say, like the one that kind of showed here in the video. This young cat, he must, he, I think he was Indian actually. He was like 18 or 19 years old. He's like doing like this with his shoulders and, and going, and I'm like, yo, that's not, you're not targeting the areas at all by doing that. And I, I broke it down for him as much as I can. If I see someone's gonna potentially injure themselves, I will let them know with kid gloves. Unlike what the guy did to you. I'll come right. at them slowly and be like, look, I understand what you're trying to do. I think you're gonna hurt yourself. If you don't mind, I can explain to you why and how to actually do this correctly. And so I try to be as respectful as possible because you're just another dude at the gym coming in with your bro vice and no one knows who the hell you are. Yeah. You know, I mean, unless they recognize you, like, I mean, that's happened, but there's still no reason to listen to me. I try to come in gently and be like, look, this is what I think. Yeah, I mean, it's all in your approach. Some people are just excited though. Like I was doing bench presses and I, I had like massive plates on there and this guy runs up in the middle of my exercise going, how do you do that? And I'm like, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's no such thing as a master at our gym. We don't have that. Here it's all quite independent unless you hired a, a personal, personal trainer. trainer. It kind of feels like maybe he's kind of the gym owner slash personal trainer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's a thing that's different here. And additionally, you would never go barefoot at the gym unless you're doing something like deadlifts. Because I've seen people do squats as well with no right? shoes Well, on. yeah, okay, similar exercise. Yeah. Deadlifts and, and squats. People do that without shoes on and I honestly don't know why. It's something about the grip, gri yeah. gripping the floor. Yeah. But I personally think that that's potentially more dangerous because you're exposing your instep to more force than it's probably capable of sustaining. But maybe with time you develop strength in there and it's better for you. I don't know. I don't know anything about why you should do that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about the um, logistics of going barefoot. Part of the big concern is the possibility of dropping a weight on your foot. That's why I wouldn't personally go barefoot at the gym. Yeah, I think that's why for us, we were just kind of having a little freak out moment where we're like, whoa, why are you barefoot at the gym? It's so dangerous, you know? But I guess it's just different. But the thing I was referring to is the intensity of the master in this video. You get some pretty intense people at the gym. You know, I was doing bench press. I, I was doing 90, 90, it's 180 plus 45 is 225 pounds. Wow. I, what does that convert to? 225 like kilos. pounds to kg is 102 kgs, right? Yeah. That's the most I was ever able to bench press. And so what happened was you start to approach a weight where it gets too dangerous to have an achara help you. And I asked this guy to help me out, this other dude doing bench press stuff. And that's what you do at the gym sometimes. You ask people to give you a to spot. spot you, yeah. When I spot someone, I'm just like, all right, cool. And I'm just waiting and I wait. And I, and I take the weight if they need it. I'm but right, you're cool. a very specific guy. Like right. you've trained me in the way you like to be spotted. Cause you don't want me to have my hands there cause it distracts you and it freaks you out. Whereas I'm just like, I just want to be ready to lift it up. Yeah, just in I, don't, case. I don't like when someone's you're, hands you're are there. You're struggling. No, but, what, yeah. but all I'm saying is when I, I'm assisting someone else, especially a stranger, I'm just watching for the moment until they say help. And then I go, okay, cool. Yeah. And I help them out. And Sintel had just texted me about this the other day because he just remembered this conversation from years ago and started laughing. I was on the bench press and I asked this dude to help me out. Big black dude. He's like twice the size of Chris J. White or whatever his name is. Uh, what's his name? The guy who's, we were watching his video just the other day. Michael J. White, Michael yes. J. White, sorry. <laughs> Michael J. White, he's twice the size of Michael J. White. And Michael J. White actually trains at that gym. Anyway, I'm derailing. So this guy, super big black guy, right? I say, excuse me, um, could you just help me with a spot? He goes, yeah, sure, no problem. Very, very like quiet demeanor, unassuming. He comes over and I start doing bench press and I get through like my second set. I'm like, okay, help. And he goes, no, come on, you got another one in you. You a bad motherfucker, you a bad motherfucker. Come on, come on, three. All right, one more, one more. You a bad motherfucker. I'm like, okay, I'm a bad motherfucker. And I, and I pushed it up <laughs> the fourth, 
<laughs> the third one. The fourth. I got three. You got four? I, I got four out of that. And, and, and wow. And Maybe the, I should have been doing that to you. And I was like, thanks, man. He's like, yeah, no problem. And then he went back to his unassuming nature. It was just weird. It was like Yoda in episode two. It was just <laughs> like this thing came out and then went away. It was crazy. You see those types who are at the gym a lot. It's because you're like, you're building up that warrior spirit. It comes out kind of like very 300. Gerard Butler when you're in that environment. That's why the master looked that way. And but the, you've done that to me and then I injured myself. Cause you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I was like, this is heavy. I don't want to lift it. It's too heavy. And he's all like, you can do it, do it. I'm like, uh, and then I pull the muscle you, in no. my neck. You see, you, you, Cause what you did, you pushed out first off and you had a little bit of a panic instead of believing in yourself. And so you started using other muscles that you're not supposed to use. That's why you tweaked your neck. Cause you started going like this, okay? <laughs> instead of actually pushing with the right, with the, I'm not gonna let you hurt yourself. I got my hands there. You just did though. No, you and then I was mad went at out you. of your way to injure yourself. <laughs> you went out of your way to hurt yourself. Whatever. Like I was there to assist you and you freaked out. You, you gave yourself a panic attack is what happened. And so your other mu muscles started kicking in. Okay, fine. You know, Whatever. divert the fuel from the other resources. <laughs> Those two guys who offered their protein powder, you get guys like that at the gym and it's super weird. Like, I don't really understand that. No, I never take supplements for some randos at the gym. I'm like, nope. I don't know where that came from. I don't know what's in there. Exactly. And what's it doing in a bucket? Because when you're that kind of person who's training all the time, you're taking protein in huge quantities, like Costco quantities. Like you're you're buying it in these massive things so you can take a, a copious amount of protein. That's just I've natural. I've seen people do it where they just take it dry. Yeah, my copper water yeah. instructor would do that. And I'm like, dude, I don't, I, I don't know how you do that. Yuck. I think protein powder tastes like pretty gross most of the time. I have to disguise it in a, in a smoothie with a bunch of other things to make it taste mildly palatable. That's because you're a child and you're not about results. If you're results oriented, you don't care about that. What you care about is the effect. So- I care about flavor. <clears throat> It's not about a del. It's not a delicacy. It's it's an objective. You don't care about the taste. You're just. It's like medicine. I mean, you should be. You should be just happy and thankful for the fact that you can have those supplements. That sure, it wasn't yeah. available a hundred years ago. Yeah, very grateful. So my favorite character in this whole thing was the dude in the yellow shirt who was just like all. Of, he couldn't afford his fees and he wanted to work out anyway. I had those days where like I didn't pay for my gym membership and I wasn't quite ready to pay again. And I'm like, no, but like, I know I can get into the gym if I'm just careful. And so like a 24 hour fitness, you sort of just wait it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, if, you, and, if you walk in with enough of a crowd, yeah. you can like sneak in without you, signing in. It's evolved how you do it. But even at gyms that I'm paying for, the current one is uh, LA Fitness where you have to like scan your barcode. Yeah. Like you're a coupon. What happens is if I see a crowd, I'm like, fuck it. And I just walk. And they're like, okay, kid, I'm like, all right, fine. And th then they'll cut, they'll have me cut the line because I'm impatient. I'm like, I'm not gonna wait for this shit. I got, I'm on the clock. I gotta go work out. At 24 hour fitness, what I would do is I would look. <laughs> so if the person at the front was distracted, I'd just waddle in <laughs> as quickly as possible and act like, you know, whatever. I never got caught, thankfully, but like. That's because you're you. If I tried it one time, I would get caught because I'm me. I don't know why women are so bad at that stuff. Because I'm so conspicuous. Or at least the women I know. I'll be like this. The, the, the women I've known are, are always bad at that stuff. Yeah, no. You know, it's super obvious. I tried, to I tried to sneak into the back lot of Universal Studios once because I knew the way in. All you had to do is walk in confidently because that's what all the other bros and sisters were doing. I was like, all right, let's just walk in. Was it with me? No, was, this is years ago with an ex-girlfriend. I feel like we tried to do the same thing and got caught. <laughs> no, it was with an ex-girlfriend years ago, my first okay. girlfriend. And I was like, all right, look, just walk in. And you just go walk in confident. She's like, all right, no problem. So I just walked in confident and she just got cold feet and stopped. I'm like, ho. Oh. <laughs> I didn't say that. I'm like, come on. And then the security guard like looked and he's like, this looks suspect. And then he stopped me. I'm like, God damn it. Who do you know here? What are they asking me all these questions? None of which I could answer. So I'm like, all right, forget it. And I walked away. If you just walk in confident, they won't notice you. Exactly. But like, yeah, I've totally done the thing where I worked out, worked out at the gym and didn't have my fees paid yet. You know, you got those days where you're struggling to pay your fees and whatnot. And like- but you gotta make them gains, yeah, you yo. Yeah, you just make it work somehow. Those were the days, you know? Um, Actually, one of the gyms I used to work out, in Hollywood, LA, you, you meet a lot of celebrities here at the 
Well, gym even is... at this gym, they met a celebrity. Well, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I've seen uh, Michael J. White. I, you know, Keanu Reeves famously worked out at Gold's Gym in Hollywood. The older brother from Hero, the older Asian brother from Hero, Asian brother, the older Asian character. He's Korean, but he plays a Japanese guy in the films. He was literally Hero's dad, coworker. Oh, coworker. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Yeah. He was. He worked out at, the, at Gold's Gym and. Well, anyway, there's all kinds of people. Oh, um, Hellboy. Hellboy worked out at Gold's Gym in, in Hollywood. Ron Perlman? Ron Perlman. I saw Ron Perlman working out. I'm like, oh, that's... I didn't know his name, but I saw him working out. I knew him from the movie Alien 4, Resurrection. Okay. I didn't know he was famous. All I'm trying to say is I've seen a number of celebrity, random celebrities at the gym, and it's... Oh, we we were in into Benny the Jet... You, Benny the Jet... Yeah. He does, yeah. And the char is like, who is this? And I'm like, just watch this Jackie Chan fight scene, you dummy. And then she <laughs> watched it and she's like, oh my God. And then I went and introduced her to Band of the Jet Yukitas. That was the last time we went to the gym. Oh, lockdown. Fun times. Yeah. Can't wait to go back though. I want that. I want that gym body. I need to get them gains back. I'm focusing on growing. Well, I don't really need to grow my booty. I should tighten it. Yeah. Just make it tight. <laughs>